it's gonna be dangerous, so I'm probably gonna get it invaded. Oh yeah, let's have some fun. Oh. Since the very start of the warp trip, rumors of ill moments have been widespread among the boys. Been sudden deaths among the crew, ravaged corpses, jagged shadows lurking behind the bulkheads. A Terran day later, the mystery unraveled itself in the most hein heinous manner, an attempt at the rogue trader's life. The question of how Drakari Zenos came to be aboard the ship will have to be part of some other fire. Right now, Lord Captain has to fight for her life. I believe it's called the ways between how they travel. First of all, this whole thing. The most unfun thing about this game. It's more travel, it's a love. Is there money to be made? Take heed, rogue trader. Never doubt me. Keep your wits about you. Your kind has no right to exist! You will fall! Unfortunate. Doubt is for the weak. Escape the endless judgment. I'll do it. Protect me. They're explosive, that's what the problem is. Taking calculated risk is my second nature. I'll make it happen. your intent.
that was a problem for you. Oh, you bitch. This battlefield air is good for my lungs. You've got a problem, I've got a problem. Don't get too cocky. Tactically sound approach. Indeed. 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 Sounds better. I thought it was going to be. Fire broke out on the, one of the decks during the warp voyage. The raging disaster consumed the entire chamber, destroying precious cargo and damaging the interior plating. No guilty parties were found. While clearing out the rubble, a few people claimed the soot and the plastic steel beams formed lines in a cryptic alien language not known to humans. The delirious workers were executed and their bodies disposed of in the proper manner. The ship left the hostile immaterium and returned to real space. Plasma drive crews begging for help. Thin and graceful warp creatures laughing merrily have caused a massacre in the drive bay. More and more people are losing their minds to join the carnage. The lunacy has to be stopped. The crew will receive military gear and given a chance to prove their worth by dispatching the Lord Captain's enemies. The victory over the rogue trader's enemies came at a high price. Still, the decks have been cleansed of warp spawn. Albeit it took the bloods of hundreds of voidsmen to wash away the evidence of their presence. I'm so dumb. I'm trying to get to here. The warp jump passed without incident for everyone except the crew members on Bridge G. For the duration of the voyage, they heard laughter. It seemed to come from outside, through the airtight seal of the ship's massive windows. The laughter went on and on. 
The ship left the hostile material and returned to real space. That night, the Lord Captain and some of her crew were awakened by beautiful music. The sound seemed to caress their very minds until they realized that the source was their own bodies. While their teeth were chattering out of staccato, their tendons were being plucked like strings by unseen hands, and invisible breaths flowed through their bones, turning them into mournful flutes. The illusion ended, but for a long time afterwards, every movement made their hearts stutter in fear. Was the orchestra about to strike up once more? I want to paint when they turn a human being into a harp that looks so cool. I don't know who they're dealing with.
resource to help them do that mission. So I get locked in there, which is kind of silly. I had to restart a whole <laughs> the fight twice. Ended the same, but. Always keep my options open. Sometimes find broken shoes so allowed to crawl in the vein, hope of escape. Ooh, that's not nice. Let us thorax overturns ribs inside out. The imprint of torment and fatigue has been left upon this world. The mark of my dark cousins is so stark, it cannot be anything but a trap. Dark cousins? Meaning the Xenos that repel even their own repellent kind? My weapon will be put to use here. I always have a backup plan. Yeah, that's where we came in there. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. <laughs> The press I just noticed. Is there money to be made? At last, you took your time coming to meet me, monkey. A couple seconds passed before we realized that the elucidator is silent. The Xenos is addressing you in no Gotham. Hold your foul tongue, abomination. Such filth will not use that tone with the Emperor's chosen. Why? I sent an invitation, by way of the cattle that dwelt on this world. And the Chosen has so obediently appeared. How are my words anything but the truth? One of my soft-bodied kin. What meager offering tempted you to lower yourself to attending these animals? Or does their company remind you of being among your lost brothers and sisters? What do you know about my brothers and sisters, Dark One? <laughs> Only that they wander blind and helpless, robbed of their home and hope. <laughs> but why am I telling you this? Isn't it your 
duty to watch over your kin, outcast. My, my, this beast can speak our language. Speaking your language is slightly less trying for my patience than being forced to listen to a monkey machine butchering our tongue. Besides, I want you to understand well what I'm about to tell you. How is it that out of all of your kind, you're the only one to discover our feasts in advance? Usually, you're all so slow and sluggish that my kin have always been enough time to leave the battlefield before aid arrives. But still, time and time again, your dogs have been there to stand in the Cabal's way. He pauses, waiting for your answer. That thing is perceptive. You hear the undercurrent of worry in Heinrich's murmur. If a Drukari took a shine to me, Sherin, I'd know to expect nothing good out of it. You are too popular, even with your enemies. Aggravating, is it not? Having someone best you at your own game? Do not try my patience, monkey. My friend from the Inquisition hand introduced me to some right people. You could thank him yourself. Are you trying to convince me that a monkey, even a well-trained monkey pet, is capable of perceiving the designs of the Drukhari? <laughs> Both you and your friend will pay for this audacity. I take it thanks will not be forthcoming. I will tell you this, monkey. I know you might be lying to me, or you might even be unaware of who is guiding your hand in any case. I have grown quite tired of your attempts to delay the inevitable. Surely you too have run yourself ragged chasing us between the stars. Let us put an end to this. Finish this standoff. My forces against yours once and for all. You wander among the stars, so you must know of this place. An ancient reach where the echo of stellar agony rings still. A place that serves as a graveyard for old stars, still filled with residual emissions and glittering dust. The place that buried your wreck, stuffed full of delicious, frightened monkey, and the horrors that devoured them. The threshold of our domain. Your kind call it the Cinerus Maleficum. That is where our disputes will be settled. The Cabal of the Reaving Tempest will be waiting for you, monkey. Do not come unarmed. Oh, oh, you're finished pontificating? I think I dozed off there for a second. Do you mind just repeating that whole thing from the start? The mask of composure vanishes from Zemus's face. Spitting out a floored vehement tirade, he draws his weapon. A mere pain won't stop me! I will wipe your disgusting presence out of existence!
This tedium is beneath me. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone! As the Emperor commands, I act. Faith without deeds is worthless. This is why I was chosen. As the Emperor commands, I act. Doubt is for the weak. Your death is approaching. Let's see to it. But of course, Lord Captain. I won't object to it. Let's make some opportunities. It's as good as done. You will not withstand my vengeance! I'll see to it personally. I'll see to it personally. My revenge will be delectable. It's as good as done. A moving target lives longer. I can do that with the right incentive. Tell me, and it is done. Are you somewhere? Follow my lead. My place is at the fore. Victory is imminent. <laughs> at your beck and call. <laughs> One fewer target. Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. It will be done. At your beck and call. in anticipation. Vengeance will be I'll swift. make you howl. I am
am not your Xenos pet, mother. I understand your intent. Cain cleanses the body! I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury! is unacceptable. I'll do it. Faith without deeds is worthless. <sighs> I'll return the pain tenfold. I'll do it. I need a foothold. Let's see to it. You pay for this in blood! This is a strike! <laughs> I'll see our foes obliterated. I won't object to it. Let's see to it. If nothing stands against me. I'll see to it personally. Pain is all. Oh, my ears are ringing. Living on the edge. Whoa. I want a medal for that one. You've got a problem? Jai Heidari. Remember the name. Am I getting paid for this? You could do worse, but not by much. Don't get too cocky. Tactically sound approach. Victory is imminent. I took care of this one. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. I approach the designated position. Another soul slips beyond the veil. Lose! It's nothing! God Emperor, move through me! Be the fire in my heart! <laughs> The Emperor is on our side.
Don't let your guard down. Your death is approaching. <laughs> Follow my lead. I will do my duty. It will be done. <laughs> One fewer target. A fun little fight. Keep your wits about you. open. I always have a backup plan. My pleasure. All right, now we can get out of here. Nothing's impossible for this old officer. Level my guys up. Okay, from the mines of Abo 6 or 1 speed and turmoil. Six, uh, at the depth level of MD Zeta 5, the warders have discovered a mountain of mutilated bodies as if crushed by the millstones of the mining machines. All the dead are convicts. The guards believe there is a cult of heretics operating in the ranks of slaves, offering human sacrifices. The convicts themselves claim that this atrocity was committed on the order of the superintendent to rid the prison of the more inconvenient prisoners. <clears throat> the superintendent tried to reason with the mob of slaves, but was mauled instead. The warrants have managed to isolate the rebels inside the mining facility, but an assault would result in high losses of workforce. On the other hand, the slaves are ready to lay down their weapons, cease this violence, and repent that the rogue trader would only demonstrate some compassion towards their plight, possibly by reforming some of the more reforming some of the more severe punishments. Then who killed those people that were found in the mines? Unknown. The riot made the investigation more difficult. Maybe it was the work of the superintendent, or maybe there is, say, a cell of the cult of the Final Dawn operating among the prisoners. But there is an oddity in the few picks that the wardens have managed to scrounge together. 
using your imagination a little, you can see a certain pattern in the scatter scattered bodies, one that is remotely similar to the, to one of these difficult prisoners have been drawing. I'd also like to note that late level MD Zeta 05 is part of the same tunnel system as the mysterious one we discovered earlier, not marked on the maps. Conduct a thorough investigation. We have to understand the slaves' cause of death and track down the culprits. Sir Babo VI and the Von Valencius dynasty. Carefully inspecting the dead bodies of the convicts, the warrants concluded that they had not been killed by a human. Nobody could identify the weapon that would inflict such wounds. The bodies were demonstrated to the convicts and the riot died down. Everyone realized that some unknown force was behind these murders. The interrogation also did not yield the information to help identify the one behind the murders that sparked the riot. Level MD Zeta 5 has been sealed. Alright, that's where we're going to stop for today. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you are, please leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It means a lot. It helps the channel grow, and I do appreciate it. Until next time, love you guys. Hope to see you again soon. Take care, and I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.